What the devil are you doing here? I hear you're looking for some help setting up a club at the harbor. What do you know about that? Oh, you can stop looking, Mr. Harrison. I'm your man. I promise you, I would have done it. And Dr. Hudson knew that. Tomas Rivera. Hey, the famous tutor. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Tomas, this is everybody. Nice. No, no, no. Mama! Oh, my favorite girl. Oh, it's good to see you. Yes, you missed her grandmother a lot. Oh, well, I missed you, too. Listen, does Helen still make that wonderful concoction that we like so much? Yes. Would you like one? I would love one. Thank you very much. Don't do that, Amanda. Doesn't help her. Doesn't make it easier for us. I, I only meant that she hasn't seen you and she didn't... Everything's just like I remember it, Rachel. Nothing's changed at all. Well, that's not true, Josie, but thank you. I was wondering when you would appear. Because you felt genuine feelings deep in your heart for me, that does not make you an unfaithful wife. Where does it say you're not allowed to love again? Hmm? Mac would have wanted it for you. You know that. He would have wanted that Of course he would have. But not with you. You are dangerous and untrustworthy. What is this? Well, my dear, yes. Is your heart's desire. I've nothing left to give. impatient for a quick profit so I have taken what money I have to secure the section of the jungle where Leon is working the Mac did buy the land yes it will be set aside forever for the people of San Cristobal as an area for research and natural beauty. Mac didn't destroy the rainforest no he didn't he took what he had and he saved it he's innocent I never believed any differently. Neither did I. Look, Carl, what's wrong? My faith is catching up with me, son. My past has me by the throat. Carl, are you in danger? Only in danger of facing what I might become. I'm sorry about this. I am sorry about this. When I came up on the sled and you were waiting for me? Do you know how close I was to driving you away in that sled with me? Sometimes I think secretly I wish you would have. I'm tired of 
tired of waiting? I want to be your wife. And grant or no grant, that's exactly what I intend to be. Oh, how you made me hold a name. made me so afraid. I just want to shine. When I thought my life was over, I don't know what I said or did to make you think you loved me. Oh, the question goes around inside my head. I lie awake sometimes at night and think about us. Oh, I swore I never. You get as soon here. as I heard what happened. <laughs> who, who, who did this? Who, who left these spatulas and frying pans stacked like this? I did. Kate taught me. She's always done it like that. Is something wrong? Cafeteria. Kate, uh, this is Dr. Kelsey Harrison. I need to see you right away. What, is it, is it something about Louise? No, no, Louise is fine, uh, but it is very important. Daytime. Me. 
day when I thought I wouldn't see you again. I felt an emptiness I haven't felt since... Since Mac died? Yes. I don't know what to do about this. I... I feel so... So turned. curiously turned around. You, you needn't say anymore. Please. Please don't leave. First, I want you to tell me why you took the job with Spencer. And then I want you to leave. This is it, Ryan. The Harbor Club of Bay City. Ah, it's good to see you, son. How did you know I'd be here? Well, it's not every day that we have limos in this part of the docks. And I won't be threatened by Michael. I know you care about him the same way I care about Josie. Doesn't mean I want her back. Why not? Because I like what I have with you. She put up token resistance. But in the end, she acquiesced on everything. Do you think she has a hidden ace? I have no idea. But until I find out, I'll be damned if I'll sign anything. Please, please take it, Josie. Charlene would want her daughter to have it. You may wear it someday. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. Tomorrow, on Another World, will Josie go through with her commitment? I am filling in for someone who has not only been a long supporter of Bay City General, but who is an extremely remarkable, talented, and caring woman, who deserves much more than a simple queen of the ball recognition. Mm. Of course, I'm talking about my stepmother, Rachel Corey. <laughs> Let me go, Jake. Ian, I thought you'd never get here. Hello, Mom. Carl. Hello, Matthew. Nice to see you again, Rachel. Josie, Matthew. Well, I hope you're having a good time. Well, you couldn't have surprised us more if you tried. When it's pushing me out, those two can take a leap. They deserve each other. Who deserves whom? I deserve a dance. And I think I've found the perfect partner. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought you hated Spencer. I hate you, old Jake. Yes. Uh, may we cut? Uh, just two minutes, John. That's all Spencer, I uh, if you... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello. Uh... 
Would you like to dance? Don't I know you? again. Well, it does look pretty, doesn't it? Look at Grant. Doesn't he look handsome? Tell him to go home. nice to get a, a new year, isn't it? We're really going to celebrate this one, too. You're overdue for some happiness. All right. Come on, then. Let's cook. his intention all along. First, he takes Daddy's wife. Then he takes the company. And then he destroys Daddy's children. He has his own life. He doesn't want his own life. He wants my Daddy's life. He always has. Of course, you know what's next, don't you? He's going to propose to you. Rachel, if you accept, if you accept, you're going to be a bigger fool than I ever thought you could be. Charlene? I've been looking all over for you. It's the baby, isn't it? She's in the hospital. I guess I have to be with my baby. I'll fill you in on the way. Come on. I 
and her mother. Frankie, I'm allowed Frankie, to Frankie, be here. Here's Morgan. Morgan. How is she? Morgan, I have to see her. I'm sorry, Frankie. I have to hold her hand. She has to know I'm I will here. let you in there soon. I what promise. happened? Did she swallow something? Did no. she fall? What? It was sudden. It happened suddenly. What? What? Call Dr. Stratton and the pediatric open heart team. Alert the OR and prep the baby for surgery. Right no! Now. No! I'm not going to let you touch my baby! Frankie. No! Wait a minute, wait a minute. This you. could explain your mood swings. I have not your had irrational mood behavior. Swings. Yes, you have. No, I have. First I... you're pushing me away, then you're pulling me into a clinch. That's because I've been guilt-ridden. Don't assume that. It could be hormonal. You're not being helpful. You're not helping me at all. Baby. Baby. Don't Little get all baby. mushy on me. What? We've got to figure out what to do about this. What do you want to do? Well, I don't know. The... It's your body. You're the one that got me into this. Oh, don't blame it on me. What, it's I, not my fault. Did I say anybody else? What is the responsible? The world is going on here. I know what you're like when you're obsessed. Wait, have you already forgotten? Forgotten? Forgotten what? Kidnapping me. Two years ago, all you cared about was my love and my understanding, and now you've moved on to my mother? Amanda, what can I say? You terrorized me! Charlie was nothing like Charlene. Charlene didn't even know that Charlie existed. She didn't? No. So you're saying that Kate Baker could be another one of Charlene's personalities? <sighs> I'm afraid that it's very possible. Is it over? I was Charlie. Now, we repair the defect. But when her heart grows, some of the structural damage that was done may continue to give her problems. So you're saying that Charlie's life will always be in potential danger? Yes. Take off your pants, son. If it's long and complicated, which, knowing John, excuse me. It's long and complicated. But the bottom line is, she's going to be all right. They fixed it. Cass, I mean, she is going to be all right. Yes. <laughs> she's going to be all right. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Oh, she's going to be all right. Darling, I am who I am because of you. Because you loved me enough to bring out the good in me. And Carl has changed. He wants to change. I have, I have to be able to find a more generous love. One that can accept him and cherish Carl right where he is. If I can do that, Mac, I'll be doing for him what you did for me. And maybe love will transform us both. Mac. 
You know I love you, don't you? Mm-hmm. Just tell me, where... Where is all this coming from? children born with this syndrome whose parents don't find out until it's too late. At least we know what we're up against. How can you sit here and talk about Charlie like she's some game study? She's not. She's my... She's my beautiful, sweet baby girl. This can't... This can't happen. Cassie. It has it already happen. happened, Frankie, but now that we... Just stop it! Just stop it and leave me alone. I hate you. I hate you both. <laughs> Really sorry. See her as she flies, golden sails across the sky, close enough to touch. Doctor? Yes? We haven't met, and I, I think that's long overdue. Don't you? told to train his boss's annoying nephew or join the unemployment line tomorrow on the John Larroquette Show. 
And a policeman learns his father killed his mother. Bo Bridges stars in Secret Sins of the Father, tonight on CTV.